Gym Arena has been packed by the Row Nation again this week, and it's going to be hotter here tonight than Texas asphalt in August. Brad Gilmore alongside Matt Topolsky for the row. We want to welcome you to the reality of wrestling, and we've got tag team gold hanging in the balance here this week. Fortune 5000 from Wildcat Sports taking on La Familia and Brad Gilmore. Some suspensions have been levied from what we understand. Aiden Cristiano will not be in the building here tonight. And neither will Luke Hawks. I mean, we saw the altercations that both those men got in a few weeks ago here on Reality of Wrestling. So they'll not be in the building. But Luke Hawks sent Fortune 5000 to come try to take those Reality Wrestling Tag Team Championships back to New Orleans. And I, I'm feeling again, Matt Tifosi, I'm getting that feeling. It's a tinge. It's called the tinge of an upset. I feel it coming. I think that Fortune 5000 might be able to get the job done. Well, you might want to put some chips on that, and we'll see what yeah. happens here later on tonight, Brad. But in addition to that, the potential for a technical masterclass. If you've been watching pro wrestling anywhere in the world recently, you have seen the face of the Latin heartthrob Gino, the former three-time Reality of Wrestling champion. He's back and later on tonight in action against Clay Roberts, who has been very impressive as in recent uh, weeks. And we'll see if Clay Roberts can get the job done against his stiffest opponent yet, Gino. Well, Gino's pretty much anybody's stiffest opponent yet. This is this is a guy who is who is going to be a future Hall of Famer in this industry. He's yeah. a multi, he's going to be a multiple time world champion the world round. And and for Clay Roberts tonight to come in here against a guy like Gino, he's got to bring not only his A game, his A plus plus game against Gino tonight. Can he do it? I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not super confident that he can step up to the plate in a big match situation, but he can prove me wrong tonight. Well, we're going to find out. And in addition to that, we're going to get the action started this week with royalty, Brad Gilmore. Royalty worthy of the Peloponnesian War because the Savage King is here at the World Gym Arena. Tommy Bolton refers to himself as the brute. And I have a sneaking suspicion going to need to dig down into a piece of his DNA that he doesn't know exists and bring out that brute this week on the road because he's facing a savage king. Bolton's corner and you are advising him on strategy in this matchup. What would be a, a bullet point or two you'd have for him? Roll out of the ring and get counted out. That's the key to victory. The victory tonight isn't winning, it's surviving against the Savage King. Savage King starts it off here with a shoulder tackle oh. and this comes in with a body avalanche. What an athlete. Look at that. Look at the strength that takes. Oh my goodness. Tommy Bolton tossed across the ring like an arrow by the Savage King, picking him up by his throat. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Slow, methodical, but forceful. Oh! The Savage King. Wait, hold on, Matt. A little Bolton action. Not Michael, Tommy. Tommy Bolton says he's game for it. We 
We'll find out. No one has of yet been able to push the limits of the Savage King. Perhaps Tommy Bolton will be able to do it here tonight, but right now he looks like he drew the short straw. Take the count out, kid. Wait a minute. What is Savage King thinking? Bolton trying to figure out what the hell no. just happened to him. No. The back of his head being driven in that mat viciously, unapologetically. A cavalcade of carnage from a savage king. No. Oh my goodness. But this young man has a lot of heart, a lot of guts and determination. And he's going to continue to fight in there. Snapmare and now the Savage King trying to rip Tommy Bolton's head off of his neck. Well, that would be pretty savage, man. to him. And look at that, a big crossbody man. Cavalcade is one way of describing it. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. A fisherman suplex from Tommy Bolton surprising the Savage King. Uh oh, no. And just powered down. Sent on uncanny. Another Spartan kick. Savage King. Look at this. Rolls through again. Oh, Achilles heel, center of the ring. Two count to a hundred. Putting himself in the conversation with 21 and Randy as some of the greatest savages of all time. And he brought the Achilles heel to Tommy the Brute Bolton. Well, Tommy Bolton looks like he just got hit by a few thousand arrows that blotted out the sun. Savage King, your winner. And might I add, it wasn't close. Stay put, more action still to come this week on the Reality of Wrestling. The tag team titles up for grabs. Gino and action. Wait a Hold minute. Hold on. Enough is enough. Come on. Time for a change, Achilles heel. Who is going to be able to stop this man? Savage King racks up another. Ahí andas, Diego. ¿Qué andas haciendo, güey? I'm changing, man. We're, why ain't you changed yet? We got to get ready for the match. Look, I'm not changing because I wanted to find out who our opponents were for tonight, okay? Did you know that Luke is sending his students over here to try to get these belts off of us? Fortune 5000. Yeah, how did you know? Did my homework. It would make sense that Luke and PJ would send their boys after us. Man, I, th I thought ahead this time. You know what? 
That's good, though. I'm glad to know that you're on point because we don't have Jefe on our corner tonight. He's still suspended. Yeah, he's still suspended. So we have to pull our weight. We have to keep these on our waist. That's right. That's so right. We'll Hefe handle comes, business. We'll handle business. We will. When he comes back, we'll still have the titles. Exactly. So finish getting ready. Wait a minute. What? What are you doing? This is what we're wearing tonight. We're not wearing that. What do you mean we're not wearing these ones? Tonight, we're cracking skulls. So we're wearing the skulls. I left my skulls in the truck. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Perez and I'm here backstage with Warren Johnson. Warren, everybody wants to know what, what was all that about? You, what happened? You know I'm just here so I don't get fined, right? <laughs> you think I want to talk to you? No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to nobody. But you know, you know something that's real funny, it's real, real funny that now, now everybody's got something to say about me. And I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew everybody was gonna start to judge. Everybody was gonna have their preconceived notions like they really understand, like they really get it, like they know what's going on. But the truth is, <laughs> the reality is they don't get it. They don't understand. Matter of fact, they'll never understand. See, I'm misunderstood. And, and I get all these questions. Matter of fact, it's not even questions. Just, it's just one question, a question. It's the same question. Why? Everybody wants to know why. Why did I turn my back? Why did I sell out? But that's where y'all got it twisted. I didn't sell out. I'm not the one that sold out. I'm not the one that turned his back. And this wasn't no plan. This wasn't, you know, a premeditated scheme. We had that match in the bag. And when I hopped on that turnbuckle, when I hopped on that turnbuckle to put the whole thing away, I had an epiphany. <laughs> and in that epiphany, I saw everybody's true colors. So I had to change mine. And in that moment, I, I did what I'm supposed to do. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall is for the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, the challengers. Brad Gilmore, Luke Hawks, and Aiden Cristiano have both been suspended by the reality of wrestling for 30 days based on the fight that we saw out here a few weeks ago. So La Familia will be without Aiden Cristiano's guidance here tonight. And it looks like Luke Hawks has sent two of his athletes from Wildcat Sports to settle the score with La Familia. In the meantime, it's Fortune 5000. Sold out 
standing room only crowd here in Texas City, Texas. Be careful with that accordion, brother. La Familia. Coming back, what it is, and seen the squad. You might end on the hood, man. You defending those reality of wrestling dark. tag team champions against Fortune 5000. Now, I'm no genius of the business world, Matt Topolsky, but riddle me this Fortune 500 is the top 500 companies in the world, right? You are correct. So, Fortune 5000, are they one of the top 5,000 tag teams in the world? Hey, nobody gave these guys an IQ test or had them take the Wonderlick before they came out here tonight, okay? Hey, you know you're giving out history lessons? No disrespect, <laughs> Matt. I think, we can, I think we can maybe add some more instruction there. Yeah. Interesting fact, however, about one half of Fortune 5000, I guess he would be considered Fortune 2500. Nathan Bradley claims that he is the sole heir to Milton Bradley's fortune. Did you know that? Well, you know what? Congratulations to him. I, I enjoy his surname. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Look, he's got, he's got Boardwalk and Park Place on his tights. It's almost too easy to start reading Community Chest out here, but I'm not going to do it. Well, let's see if he'll take a chance against La Familia here tonight. Stop it. <laughs> Go for Reality Wrestling Gold. I'm sorry. The Reality of Wrestling Tag Team oh. Championships up for grabs. And all joking aside, Nathan Bradley, as he is showing us early on, a well, tremendous was. athlete in Look his own that. right, but so is Jonathan Vega, one half of the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, as Wildcat Sports again invading the row. But the Reality of Wrestling is the blue label of pro wrestling, and you're seeing why right now. Double team here from La Familia. The first of what I expect to be many oh, tonight. Oh. That's right, Rogue Nation. Oh, it's oh. not Thanksgiving, but that's a wishbone split in half. Diego De La Cruz playing the air accordion. Oh, boom, kick to the ribs. Gotta love it. Cruz, one, two, and a kick out. Edge coming back here from Nathan Bradley, one half of Fortune 5000. An opportunity of a lifetime tabled for them here tonight. Thanks in part to Luke Hawks and his suspension. I don't believe his son PJ is here in the building either tonight. Diego De La Cruz, super kick to the sternum. Gunt Rich. Breaker. Cruz to retain. Short night of work for the family. Kick Almost. out from Nathan Bradley. <laughs> Jonathan Vega. Look at that beautiful tag team wrestling by La Familia. One, two, and Reginald Gates. Any relation to William Gates? It could be. It could be. But then I would think they'd be a Fortune 100. Point. Oh, what we thought would be a clean break. Not so much. Reginald Gates from behind. And Jonathan Vega being picked apart by one half of the challenging tag team here tonight in this competition. Kick out at two and a half. But that is how quickly momentum can shift here at the row. Switching that equilibrium around. Look at that, great. That's some great tag team wrestling by Fortune 5000. Pin attempt here. Here again, and stranger things have happened. We've seen a lot of upsets at the reality of wrestling already here in this new year. Those titles have headed to Wildcat Sports on more than one occasion. It might happen again this week. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope La Familia can hold it down for the blue label. But look at that, Reginald Gates. Beautiful suplex. 
Exploder suplex there from Gates. Pin attempt, center of the ring again. Jonathan Vegas slips out. Gates trying to choke the life out of one half of the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions. They would love to punch their ticket into a title opportunity. Walking out of here tonight with the gold. here with Clay Roberts. Now, Clay, tonight in the main event, you'll be facing your toughest match to date against the Latin heartthrob, Gino. Do you think you have what it takes to match up to his caliber? That's, I kind of like the way you put that, actually, because you know, there's no doubt Gino's the measuring stick around here, right? The greatest in-ring performer in the history of reality of wrestling. There, there's no doubt about that. The only three-time row champion. And he hasn't done that just because he has the bloodline. His father was a luchador. It's not just happenstance, right? The guy works harder than almost anyone at Reality of Wrestling. I say almost because he doesn't outwork me. In fact, in the last month, Gino and I have closed this school down more than most people will be here in an entire year. How's that, right? And Gino, you've worked so hard and gotten so high and you have looked down from your spot at everyone except me because I've been right behind you ever since I got here. I've been working just as hard as you ever since you got here. And so tonight, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, right? I got the butterflies going, I'm anxious. But I get excited too. I get excited to see if all that hard work pays off because Gino is the measuring stick and the best performer in the history of reality of wrestling but I'm the best technician in Texas. And I have worked too hard for too long to show that I'm anything short of being the best. 
In Greek mythology, the underworld was guarded by a three-headed hellhound, Cerberus. Cerberus was born from darkness, from hatred, from wrath, with an undying hunger for victory. Victory. Victory is what leads Legion. Because it's time that everyone's actually terrified that Legion's no longer considered an afterthought. No. Legion is going to rise to the top of reality of wrestling. Because then, it'll be our realm. Welcome to the House of Legion. It's me, Zach. It's BK. Hell's wrong with you. BK, what you doing creeping around dressed like that? You called me. Thought you wanted to be worn in the parking lot. Yeah, I called you, but I just needed somebody to talk to. Dang, what was you gonna do with that? Don't worry about all that, alright? Real question is, how are you taking this, dog? <sighs> Brother, after he turned his back on me, all I can think about is vengeance. Warren must pay. Warren Johnson must pay. Zach, bro, if I was you, I wouldn't take this there. Oh, tell me how to hey. feel. All right, you wouldn't understand, okay? This whole situation has got me messed up, man. I'm not the same in here. I'm not the same up here, okay? All I can do is hate, all right? I have hate in my heart. I have hate in my mind. And Warren Johnson has to pay for his sins. <sighs> Welcome back to The Row. Brad Gilmore and Matt Topolsky ringside. And up next, Brad Gino goes one-on-one -on -one with Clay Roberts. And normally you would say it's a shoe-in for a Gino victory, but Clay Roberts has been building some momentum in recent weeks. Gino has been on again, off again here at the Reality of Wrestling. Anything can happen. Can Clay Roberts pull the massive upset this week? Look, it's possible, right? It's possible. We saw back in the 1990s when Michael Jordan came back to the Bulls, during, you know, middle of the season, they got swept in the play, or they got knocked out of the playoffs by the Heat or the Magic. I'm sorry. So can uh, Clay Roberts be that Shaq and Penny, if you will? Can he come up with a major upset and knock one of the greatest that reality of wrestling has ever seen out of competition tonight? I don't think so, Matt Topolsky. It's not going to be a dream come true for Clay Roberts here this evening. I think Clay Roberts is good. He's really good. He's not great. Gino is great. Gino's on another level than most people who walk through the doors here at Reality of Wrestling. For Clay Roberts to even have a chance, he has to come out here and do something that we've never seen him do before, and I don't know if he can do it. Well, that matchup is next. It is your main event, and right now we would like to welcome right here to the broadcast table the precision tactician, Rex Andrews. Precision Tactician, just a few weeks ago, joined us here at the commentary table, and he is going to bless us with his knowledge again. Here comes Rex Andrews for this next matchup between Clay Roberts and the Latin heartthrob Gino. Well, here he comes. He's a former reality wrestling champion. Rex, thank you. How you doing, boss? Former Texas champion. champion. Television champion. Running down your list of accomplishments. Thank you for joining us again. We yeah, did. Thank you. It Absolutely. takes a while with you. How's everything going? Oh, man. Things are good, guys. The big opportunities are coming up down the line, right? We got the uh, the last stand battle royal happening. I'm officially announcing myself. Oh, wow. The first entrant. I'm in it. Well, some breaking news right there from Rex Andrews. Then you know now. And, and by the way, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring it up. Uh, you got your uh, your hands and your wrist taped. Uh, 
Listen, Matt, if I'm at ringside, you never know what's going to happen. You guys should be taped up. You guys should be ready for a fight. That's okay? a really good point. Things really can break point. down at any point here. Well, why don't you head to the back right now and go get taped up, Brad, and Rex and I will handle it from here. I think we got it. Tuxedo matches some of our champions. <laughs> Well, here he is, Clay Roberts, who continues to impress in recent weeks. And Rex Andrews is going to pick your brain here in just a minute about Clay Roberts. Absolutely. We had some things to say about him a few weeks ago. He continues to build his technical playbook. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if Clay Roberts can put it all together and have a big 2020. Huge, man. He just keeps picking up these big matches. Let's see if he can deliver tonight. The youngest champion in reality of wrestling history. A former three-time reality of wrestling champion. And once again, Rex, a man who you know very well. You had a long-standing feud with this man on more than one occasion. And I would go out on a limb here. I don't think I am, actually, by saying that both of you are responsible in some way for the success in each of your individual careers, you and Gino. Yeah, you need uh, yeah pressure. Pressure builds success, right? You need somebody who uh, who's trying to one up you. And I feel like Gino and I have constantly pushed each other. Uh, every time we step in the ring, we go a little further, we get a little better, we come out stronger. The guy keeps taking his career to new heights, and uh, it's motivation, man. Hey, you know, Brad Gilmore, it's hard not to Google professional wrestling and see Gino's face and his work just about everywhere right now. The light heartthrob really blowing up. I mean, he's definitely becoming a national and international wrestling star. Still the youngest champion of any kind here in reality of wrestling history when he won at just 19 years of age. Clay Roberts has an ultimate opportunity here this evening. You know, Matt Polska, I spent some time in Alabama recently, and I decided to finally go to Skipperville. I went to Skipperville. I did. And, I did. What, and what did you discover? I'm afraid to ask. Well, it's everything that you think it'd be. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> great boiled peanuts there. Thank you. I that's, appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's great stuff. That's what I hear. Yeah. I hear I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to eat anything <laughs> in 12 square miles. Don't, don't trust the kitchens in Alabama. Yeah, that's a good call. Absolutely. So with that, you've got all the Skipperville puns out for this match, right? Yeah. Hit you're done, the, you're good? Hit him at the top. <laughs> oh, there is an electricity wow. and an energy in the air for this matchup. And a Let's Go Clay chant ringing out throughout the world, Jim Arena. Now you can see people really coming behind Clay. They're recognizing the skill this guy's got. He's just waiting for the right break, the right opportunity He's to step up. Well, he's definitely, he's definitely somebody who you can tell. He works on his technique all the time. I mean, that's what I see every time I stop by the World Gym Arena. I go back. I like to watch some of the guys train. I like to talk to them, see what their upcoming strategies are for some of the matches they're going to have here at the arena. And Clay's someone who's always in there working on technique, yeah. working on maneuvers, trying to figure out reverses, ways to get out of things, ways to get into things. And you're seeing it on display right now. That's right. S uh, skill beat size every time. The guy knows what he's doing. The guy knows how to maximize every opportunity that he gets in the ring. Are you saying that he's small? You know, he's, uh, he's giving up some size to Gino here. Definitely so. And you talk about that. Look at the physical condition that Gino is in. I mean, he has really evolved, transformed, if you will, into a different athlete than we've seen in recent history here at Reality of Wrestling. Not to say that he wasn't always a great athlete. He just looks better than ever. Absolutely. I think that, you know, Gino, when we first saw him win that championship at 19, he was the heavyweight champion here at Reality of Wrestling. And I don't know if he really even made the weight cut for the division, you know what I mean? And now you see the size and the physique on Gino. It is very impressive, as is Clay Roberts and Gino so far in this match. They, they, one doesn't seem to be getting the upper hand of the other, Rex. Yeah, definitely a lot of jousting here, looking for that leverage. They see a good arm drive from Clay. Oh. And there's that size coming in for Gino. Gino with that shoulder tackle right there. Well, it is Look at that. That leg pick rolling up into the good opportunity here. Part wheel out from Clay Roberts. Look Looking at that. Grab a body part once again. Well, how do you call the play by play on this one? It's happening so fast, man. Yeah, a little bit of one upsmanship here early on. Gino with the high ring IQ. But Clay Roberts, as you can tell, has greatly expanded his technical playbook. 
And Rex Andrews, I know you had some breaking news at the start of this matchup, slaps the taste out of Clay Roberts' mouth right there. But I'm going to hit you with the softball, not bearing the lead. What brings you out here tonight, by the way? Listen, man, I like I said earlier, this big opportunity is coming up. I've been trying to call my shot. Where do I want to to put my stock? What championship do I want to chase? The the last stand battle royal. That's the opportunity that I need to to pick my shot. So next month, I'm in. I'm in the battle royal. I've won it before. I'm going to do it again this time around. Yeah, winning the inaugural one, if I do remember That's right. correctly. Back when we referred to it as the last stand, of course, the No Limits Battle Royal going down here on the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel, a live streaming event. Oh, look at that, referee got caught. The referee got clipped unintentionally, but then Gino with a thumb in the eye of Clay Roberts, and now goes to work. That is the high ring IQ I was talking about earlier. You don't have to love it. I'm certainly not a fan of cheap shots, but Gino will bend oh, and break wow. every rule in the book up to the point that it gets him disqualified if it provides him an advantage. No one knows that better than you, Rex Andrews. Absolutely. He's, he's a guy who doesn't need to take shortcuts. He can put the work in, he can get the match done if he needs to, but he's happy to just take every little advantage that he can. Gino now methodically slowing down this matchup a bit. Perhaps he wasn't expecting a fight of this magnitude, Brown. We know, I mean, we talked about it. I said that Clay Roberts is good, but I don't know if he's great. And then tonight, I said I needed to see something out of him to show me that. And so far, I will say, he has been impressive in there with Gino, and he's holding his own. You know what it's like to be across the squared circle from Gino. I mean, you, you have to be 100% confident in your ability. Absolutely. And that's what Clay, you can see he keeps fighting back here. He keeps looking for that chance. Hesitating, it's not going to get you there. He's got to just take advantage oh. anytime he can get the upper hand. Look at that, Gino. Instinct. Second generation athlete. Yeah, one step ahead of Clay there. The best. And Rex, I, I don't know if, if this would make sense because you're, you're a competitor yourself, but I just feel with Gino, there isn't a lot of thought going into his matches. It just seems to be his instincts. He just seems to know exactly what he's doing there. He doesn't have to think too hard. Yeah, I feel like every competitor has to have a game plan to be successful. And I think it's just so ingrained in Gino that he knows what he's looking for. He knows the opportunities that he sees in the ring. So it is fluid for him. But anybody in there who's, who's doing this on a high level, they're always working to some end. Right now, Gino putting in the work and really starting to impose his will on Look at Clay that. Roberts. He was looking for snake eyes, but Clay Roberts hangs on like Velcro. Sunset flip over the top. Clay Roberts, the biggest win of his career on the way. No, two and three quarters. Clay high knee. He's looking for that Lariat follow-up. Insegiri spinning Insegiri to the back of the head. Courtesy of the Latin heartthrob, the former three-time reality of wrestling champion. And now this time, looking for Snake Eyes in the corner, and he got 100% of it. Oh! oh. Clay Roberts oh. cuts back! Big go. Lariat! Could he steal one here? No! Gino shoots that arm off the mat to keep this match rolling on, but a close call indeed. See, that's what I'm talking about with Clay. He was hurt, he took that snake eyes, but he still had that fortitude. He still fought back, took advantage of the opportunity they knew was there. He's fighting here. He's just got to push through to the finish. Referee up to a count of five. Could lightning strike in our main event for young Clay Roberts facing Gino. Trying to write headlines. You know he's done it in his own head. Now can he produce here? Gino, another swing and a miss. Clay Roberts over the top. Look at that. Not 100% sure if he got all of that. One, two. Gino with the shoulder up. Impressive, though, offense, Rex Andrews, by Clay Roberts. Yeah, these guys are going back and forth. Both obviously did their research. Roberts wasting
taking some time here. Not something you can afford to do in the ring with an athlete the caliber of Gino. Now Clay Roberts, perched in the penthouse level. Will this high risk result in high reward in May? Crossbody! Another kick out. Holding on to that arm, rolling right into the submission. Oh, look at that. Stringing it together. That cross face cinched in. Gino attempting to change position here, but each position does not bring him any closer to a bottom rope that will force a break. Clay Roberts hanging on for dear life. How strong are the fingertips of Clay Roberts? Gino inches closer to that bottom rope. Clay Roberts holding, holding on to it holding though, man. Holding on to that cross face. This could be it. Oh, impressive strength from Gino to counter out. Oh! Oh! Oh, and that knee to the temple may have just switched off the lights. Clay looks a little bit glazed over. Oh, Went still up. fighting through. And that super kick blows the breaker box. Two, no! Wow, Clay Roberts, call it muscle memory, but somehow he gets that shoulder off the mat. And Gino a bit stunned, the look painted on his face. Oh, this could be all right here. Oh, Scarlet, Scarlet Letter. Letter. That Scarlet could be Letter, two, three, forget about it. Rex Andrews, with that last stand pay-per-view coming up, you may be facing Gino once again inside that ring. And I gotta tell you, he looks better than he ever has. It's gonna be one hell of a challenge if you two face off. I'll tell you, the business with me and Gino will never be done. I've been ready for him every time he stepped in the ring before. I'm ready for him this time. He's not getting in the way of my opportunity. Well, here tonight, Gino once again displays the championship pedigree that has made him one of the biggest stars in reality of wrestling and one of pro wrestling's hottest free agents. Your winner, Gino. You guys just gotta give respect to Clay Roberts here. Still fighting through all the way to the finish. Still pulling for more offense, trying to make it happen. No respect as usual. Latin heartthrob, we have respect. A little, just a little bit of respect. Well, Clay Roberts got showed us something here tonight, and hats off to him for the fantastic performance as well. Thank you to everyone for joining us on this week's edition of the Reality of Wrestling. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week right here on YouTube.